thank you so much for joining us. Just time for a quick recap of the week, which has been busy. The House finally passed the big infrastructure bill. ABBA released its first album in 40 years, so you know your parents are fucking tonight. <laughs> And the Democrats had a rough time in Tuesday's elections. They lost the governor's race in Virginia and nearly lost the governorship of New Jersey. But perhaps the clearest sign of just how much voters have turned on them was this. A truck driver with no prior political experience has defeated one of the most powerful Democrats in New Jersey. He is Republican Edward Durr, and he has won the District 3 Senate seat over incumbent Steve Sweeney, the state Senate president. OK, hold on. I know that there is a lot to process there, from a surprise upset by a man with no political experience to someone being called one of the most powerful Democrats in New Jersey while looking like Daddy Dinosaur from Dinosaurs. <laughs> but what I did not need to be told there is that in the name of his vanquisher, this man is Ed Durr. Because when you look like this, the Ed Durr is very much assumed. <laughs> I see this image and I immediately know three things. He's a white middle-aged guy, his style icon is Larry King, and his name is unavoidably Ed Durr. <laughs> now, this was a huge upset, and if you're thinking, well, maybe Ed Durr simply captivated people with his unique and powerful vision for New Jersey, good luck landing that argument. Ed, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get to the Capitol in Trenton? Uh, I really don't know. That's, that's the key factor. I don't know what I don't know, so I will learn what I need to know. Oh, come on, Ed Durr. You could have answered anything there. You could have said, oh, I'm going to lick every door handle, or I'm going to get to the bottom of this Epstein thing. Or you could have just said, duh. Any of which would have been better than I don't know. Also, what is he wearing there? Black on red? He looks like he's auditioning to be the newest member of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> the only time that colour combination is remotely acceptable is if you're a middle school boy who wants his classmates to know that he's going to buy a gun as soon as he's old enough. <laughs> and it is not just Durr's lack of experience that's troubling here. He's compared COVID mandates to the Holocaust and tweeted that the Prophet Muhammad was a pedophile and Islam is a false religion, all of which suddenly makes me a lot less concerned about the things Ed Durr doesn't know and way more concerned about the things he thinks he does. Now,